All right, that was quite an interesting panel discussion. What did you think, Aijo? Exactly, that was really inspiring. If we get all really excited about what product leaders said, let's see how we can actually use these products in co pilot agents. Let's start, Tomomi. Cool, all right. So, we're going to talk about custom engine agents in this session, and we're going to talk about what it is and how to build. So you just learned about declarative agents, right? And uh, well, we have another type of agent here that called custom engine agents. And both are you know, conversational agents, but there are some fundamental differences, which is uh, declarative agents are built on top of you know, Microsoft 365 Copilot, and it uses its foundational model and orchestrator. On the other hand, custom engine agents, well, it it's not using Copilot, so basically you bring your own. So yeah, you might wonder, so hmm, which agent should I build? Well, I would say you should try both, but I suggest uh, custom engine agent if you want to use model and orchestra. Uh, orchestrator of your choice. And when you want to support something like agentic for agentic support for something complex, like complex workflows means um like multitasking kind of flow, or maybe something like um, proactive using proactive triggers, um, asynchronous processing, and things like that. Like anything complex, maybe this is a better choice. And when you want your service to be independent from Microsoft 365 Copilot, when you want to cater your you know, service to basically everybody out there. So that might be a great choice. Yeah. And Tomomi, I know that a lot of developers watching us right now may already know about traditional bots. What is the difference between traditional bots to custom engine agent? Well, honestly, custom engine agents are like, Teams, team spot, you know, team spot, but smarter with AI. So if you have built, you know, team spot, you are already familiar with, you know, custom engine agent here. So, well, when you want to make it smarter, you use something called a Teams AI library. And that, you know, uh, makes the bot more intelligent and personalized. And that would understand like whole natural, you know, facilitate natural conversation. That means, you know, you recognize user intent and know how to deal with it. Like what maps with the next actions and generate answers and things like that. And a custom engine agent is basically conversational and contextual. It uses M365 chat interface. I say that at the highest our UX principles. So, you know, this chat comes with something like what we call streaming, like like typing kind of stuff, or like uh, reference and citations for each generated answer. So it knows what sources it, they use. Um, things like uh, AI leveling, like generated by AI kind of leveling. So your users know they're dealing with AI and sensitivity levels and all that. So you don't have to create a whole UX from scratch. And again, the building natural language processing that understand user intent. And uh, well, as a user, I mean, as a developer, you can do the prompt engineering moderation for further customization of this bot, or I would say agent. <laughs> and LLM modularity means, well, so Teams AI library, by default, it uses OpenAI's GPT model, but you can swap it out. Yeah, all right, so that was what, really like a short explanation of what custom agent agent are. But now, yeah, I just gonna show you some real life example here. I just Awesome. <laughs> Thanks to mommy for the introduction of custom engine agent. Now, I'm gonna show you this awesome human resources expert, Kario Genie. Career Genie is custom engine agent that leverages Teams AI library. It's also very friendly and helps with all of the HR queries. So let's have a closer look to Career Genie and how it actually works. I'll start by saying hi, and um, you will see the behavior right away. And the first thing I recognize is AI generated label, and also we have sensitivity label. You also have feedback loop, thumbs up, thumbs down. You can share more feedback 
by, about the answer, if you liked it or not. And after that, I just want to share with you that career journey can handle more than just this answer. We can actually ask questions like, suggest me that net developers who can speak Spanish. And Career Genie is actually connected to Azure AI search behind the scenes. So it can apply vector search on top of a bunch of uh, resumes we already had behind the scene. There are more complex tasks I also want to share with you Career Genie can handle. First of all, we can authenticate in Career Genie using SSO. And we can ask questions like, again, suggest me .NET developers, but Career Genie can handle creating lists, adding people in the list. So and uh, let's say that we add Isaac in a list, and we can also say add Anthony in the same list with, with Isaac. Career Genie will understand the task right away and will add Anthony in the same list. So in that case, if we summarize the list, you will see that both Anthony and Isaac in the same list. We can create multiple lists, more than one. Let's say that we create a list for Sarah, uh, and we can uh, add Python uh, developers in that list. We can also create the third list for 10 plus years experience and so on and so forth. We can add more candidates in the list, remove them, switch them to in between lists. And in the end, we will see all the lists and candidates available. Once we are settled though, we can actually see all the lists in our summary and we can send our list to HR. If you go to our Outlook very quickly, I can show you that this list is already sent to HR and ready for scheduling for all the candidates we've shared already. So this is a scenario I wanted to share with you so far with Career Genie. And I also want to share more about, you know, how we can actually get started building those. Cool. That really looks like, you know, productivity booster, right? But can you show us how to build it? Of course. So it's no surprise to a lot of developers, we're going to use Teams Toolkit. So anyone who installed Teams Toolkit right now in Visual Studio Code, it's an extension in VS Code. You can just go to Teams Toolkit and create a new app. You can select Custom Engine Agent, and then you can select Basic AI Chatbot. You can select the language of your choice, Azure OpenAI, after you share your keys. The only thing you have to do is just providing a name for your um, Custom Engine Agent. And then you just need to go to prompts, chat, and escape prompt. You just need to provide a meta prompt here. And after you hit debug, and we can use test tool for easy debugging, we will just be able to chat with Career Genie with the right behavior, right characteristic right away. But here, as you can see, currently it can only provide us, let's say, help us with job posts, etc. So it's not actually 100% Career Genie yet. It's just the prompts be provided so far. Hmm. So you just show us like a really big basic setup here, right? Oh, all right. Yes. So can you show us like how to add more features and all that? Yes, exactly. So let me actually show you how we add other features I've shared earlier. So let's start with some core concepts. I will just start with core AI concepts. If you go to app folder in the app.ts, the first thing we recognize coming from Teams AI library is the AI components, which are model, prompt, planner. And in model, in prompts, you will recognize that there's prompts folder. This is the place we actually keep all of our prompt settings in config.json and also prompt itself in skprompt.txt. So this is the prompt I pasted in our uh, Teams toolkit custom engine project earlier. This is the where, place where I define the characteristics of Career Genie. But where does the data come from? Data is, comes actually from config.json. Config.json is the place where I define Azure Search as the data source. And we also define some parameters here to make it work in our custom engine agent. If you go to app.ts, I also want to share with you a few other user experience enhancements. First of all, we can say that we can actually add feedback loop. We can also share our answers from Career Genie with adaptive card. And here I already defined AI label and also sensitivity label. You can use all of these UX enhancements in your project. And one another imp important component is the authentication. Uh, by just adding authentication in your app, you'll be able to leverage graph and all of the data coming with graph. And finally, the most important piece is the actions. For actions, I define like creating lists, adding lists, et cetera. 
I use another uh, prompt. I defined monologue prompt. And here we have actions.json. Actions.json has all of the actions we defined so far, like add candidates, remove candidates, create lists, uh, remove lists, send lists to HR, etc. If you go to app.ts, you'll see that all actions are defined in the AI already. And finally, in actions.ts, we have function for each individual action here. So this is basically how Career Genie works. It's a complex setup, but as you can see, everything is provided by Teams AI library. So step-by-step, step, you can add all of these features in your own custom engine agent too. Excellent. But where can we learn more about? Where's the resource? Great question, Tamani. Thanks for asking that. <laughs> all right. So everyone, if you go to ekhead.ms slash copilot dev camp, this is the place where you can find building your own career genie labs. I'm going to show you, actually, if you go to this AKA link, you will be directed to our Copilot Developer Camp repo. And here, if you go to Build Path, then this is the path we have labs for building Career Genie, building your own agent. So here, the first step is Lab Zero, where you can actually get prepared and set up everything to get going. And in the first lab, you will be building custom engine agent. In the second lab, you will be adding Azure AI search with retrieval augmented generation. The third one is for user experience enhancement. Fourth is for authentication. And the last one is for actions as we define all of the handling lists, adding candidates, and so on and so forth. After completing all of these labs, you will actually run Career Genie in your own environment, which is awesome. So if anyone is interested in building their own custom engine agent and building their own career genie and testing it out, go to aka.ms slash co-pilot dev camp. Cool. This is basically all we wanted to share with Tomomi in this session. And we have amazing session coming up right after us. Donna will be actually interviewing Teams AI library product team in studio, asking more questions about custom engine agents. So let's go to the studio. All right. Thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye.